Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's start with uh, Andy Cruz. What you think about his performance? Um, it looked good, man. Look good. A little top heavy at the beginning, but he got it together. I like him, man. I like him. He's starting like 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 Bozy said, he's starting to set down a little bit now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I like him. Look what do you, you think about him and uh Keyshawn down the road? Yeah, like they could see they can do that next. I mean yeah. Keyshawn, Keyshawn say he wanna move at a fast pace. Why not fight the guy that beat him four times in the amateur? Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? What you, what you see in that fight? Say that again? What do you what do you see in that fight as far as Keyshawn and it, and Andy Cruz like um, just by watching? I think I think uh from what I see, Andy Cruz outboxing. Yeah. yeah. What what is it? Is it the feet? Is it the experience? What is the movement? What is it? This just the mental that he already, that he already got over, you know? The kid okay. the kid Tara Pro went back to the amateurs and lost his man again. He just got him mentally, you know? Mm. He got his number. Who who you think got the better hand speed and foot speed in that fight? Andy Cruz. Yeah. You yeah. think that's the main thing in that fight? A, the big more, difference? More accurate, too, I think. Yeah. He looked good in there tonight, man. Obviously, good. his good. opponent wasn't great, but what was that? He big, too, for his weight class. Pretty decent, yeah. 135, coach. Yeah, TV. A lot of TV make him look big. He look huge on TV. Right, right. And then um, in the co-main, man, we had... Uh, uh, Liam Paro versus Montana Love, um, uh, stoppage. I was telling my daughter, I said, um, when, when you touch Love, he, he kind of fall apart mentally, you know what I mean? It was just a matter of time. Yeah, I mean, he put on a beautiful show, but every time you touch me, just collapse, man. You know? What, you, what do you think? Like, a lot of people are speaking upon... Um, his level of heart when it comes into the ring, like, do you feel like you know, when it when it comes to that, quote unquote, do you think you know he he got what it takes when it comes down to getting hit by some of these big punchers? That's the thing. Um, a lot of fighters are up for the show and the shine, but they don't understand pain come with it. You know, are you willing to take the pain? That's the thing. Pain come with this shit, man. And that's the part you don't see when you're watching video, when you're watching tapes. You don't you don't see the pain. Mm -hmm. You can only feel that shit when you get in the ring. And if, if you're not willing to take the pain, you might as well hang that shit up. Yeah. Boxing hurt. Boxing hurt, man. I mean, tell me, like, you know, when when it comes to Liam Paro, um, what what you thought about him? He patient. Keep, keep his composure good. Um, I think he can throw more combinations, you know. But he looked pretty good, man. This is a, this is um debut in the states, right? Was it? Uh, I think so. Yeah, he, he looked pretty good. Kind of small though, I think. He looked small to me. But, yeah. You know, they had him in the co-main, you know. So if they had him in the co-main, you already know they put him in the mix. Yeah, I would love for him to see him fight. Um. Uh, what's the kid that that um love duck? They said the last the last fight. Richardson Hitchens. Yeah, I would love to see a fight. Uh, Hitchison. Oh yeah, that would be that, that would be a decent fight. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a real good one. Now, for the uh, finale, man. Uh, obviously, you know we we all predicted a, a unanimous decision. Uh, I don't know if anybody thought it was going to be a clean sweep, like as far as not like every single round, coach, like this Devin Haney. I said it on the last podcast, he don't have the coordination and the feet to keep up with Haney. You know, Haney's speed was giving him problems right off the gate. You, you see a fighter rolling his hands and shit. That's because it's just, it would remind me of the Zab Judah and uh, Floyd Mayweather fight. 
before he was popping up. You see, you see his, uh, Zab rolling his hands the same way. I think Haney Speed gave him a big, big problem, man. You know, mm -hmm. and the angles, angles, man. What what type of message do you think that uh, Devin Haney made? You know, for the hundred and forty division today. I mean, it was expected with with with, with Regis. Not too big of a message with the big boys. You know what I mean? Now, just gotta see what happened. You know, uh, so uh, what's his name? The one, that, the one that just fought two weeks ago, the champion, Matias. Yeah. Different story, man. Different story. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Um, speaking of that, I mean, you know, now Devin speaking upon going to 147 pounds. Um, obviously, there's names like Roly, uh, Tio, and Matias there that got titles. Um, what do you what do you think about that as far as like him going to forty seven? I think she stay at forty and make and make some money first with them guys. You know, if he fight them guys away for the night, he's gonna be all right against Rose. So make that money and then move up to forty seven. You know, mm. forty seven man, that's a mean division. And and, and right now, boots. <laughs> you know, boots man. I mean, I talked to Rosie about it. <laughs> I would love to see Haney fight Rashidi Ellis. Because Rashidi Ellis is fast and you're not real strong, so that'll be a good test for Haney at 147. I like that matchmaking, Coach. I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Obviously, you know, when it comes to the dynamics of, like, the arms and stuff, I'm pretty sure it favors Haney. But, yeah, that's a good fight. Um. Do you feel like, you know, is he trying to go for, like, an easy title at, at, at 147 now that you never know where these belts are going to go with Crawford? Um, at 147, I don't think none of them will be easy. That's a different type of power, you know what I mean? Right. Guys cutting down from 155, 160 to make 47. Yeah, different type of power. But it's like, say you – say we happen to see out of nowhere, you know – Haney versus Barrios. Like, how do you, how do you see that fight playing out if that happened? Oh man, that's that's a good fight, fifty fifty. Another yeah. measurement stick for Tank Davis. You know, that's why they would do it, right? Yeah. Um, I would love to see him fight Barrios, Keith Thurman. See how he do with Keith Thurman. You know what 